Good morning everyone, it's quite early and I woke up today with a job, uh, today I'm going to clean the chimney. It's not been very cold in the last few days so we'll let the fire go out overnight so it's nice and cold for the job so I'm gonna go and do it, it's been a while. The inside of our stove is lined with fire bricks on three sides. They're coming out first. Most of them are broken, so it's a bit of a headache. A trick we learned from fellow boaters is to put an open bin bag in the stove when cleaning the chimney. Then close the door and all the vents. When we were in London, we had a chimney cleaning kit and someone stole it off the roof. But then another year we ended up doing, just using a plastic bag and that works okay. And this year I wanted to buy it and I ordered it online, but that's when all the postal strikes happened. So it never arrived. I actually ended up paying for it. It's not meant to be. I'm going back to a plastic bag method. The cleaning part is almost over, but the hardest part is yet to come. Now I need to put all the fire bricks, because they're broken, it's going to be like um, solving a puzzle. So I've got to put them all back as they were. I think I need a second bag. After a long time of unsuccessfully trying to fit the bricks back in, Miles had a go. Right, how does this one go back together then? Where are you taking it from? So this one's got three pieces, so there's just one on the left goes in there. I didn't know this one was broken. So I think I finished the job. I've made sure that the bricks fit. The reason they didn't fit is because the side ones were pushed to the, towards the front and they actually need to be pushed towards the back to hold everything together. One of the back ones is now also broken so I guess we should just get that glue thing, special brick glue to avoid it happening next time. I'm going to start the fire now and clean my nails. George, baby George, hello lovely, hello beautiful, <laughs> there's enough love for everyone. We have a returning guests here on Alba, you just want to be cuddled all the time. Susie and George are back, back for the weekend and we can't be happier. Hey George, hey George. This means that we've barely done anything, <laughs> the boat is a mess and we just hanging out with the dogs and that's all we're doing and it's really hard to do anything else to be honest. I did go for a run this morning with Susie. We went um, along the river. Yeah it wasn't too long, it was about three miles. I mean it was a run for me but I don't run very fast so it was kind of like a fast walk for Susie. She barely lifted off the ground. She learned pretty quickly how to run next to me so it was really cute. We do have a job today to do though, we are running out of gas and diesel so we're going to go to a better boating by car and grab that. What did you forget? The diesel tanks. I decided to leave the dogs at home because I'm driving and there's enough stuff to think about while I'm learning. And we're going to have diesel kind of just in the car in the back seat and it just doesn't really work. But luckily it's not very far, it's probably, it will be done within an hour. We're so behind on our chores. We've got no water, no diesel, no gas. Recycling is overflowing. Yeah. I've got no food. 
Well, we have got dogs, so the chances are we're not going to have much this weekend. <laughs> Nothing's going to get done, no. In the moments like this, boat life becomes a little bit more stressful because, you know, you have to prioritise work, you have to prioritise studying, and then you're like, oh my god, we've got no water, no diesel. Um, so that's when it's like it becomes quite tricky. So better boating still don't have any gas. There must be some kind of a shortage going on. Yeah, a bit tricky. Hopefully we'll last another two days. We we're gonna call him on Monday and check if he's got it and then pick it up then. Seven pounds for logs in a net? I mean, uh... no. we know what we'll, what we'll we have. Know, we know what we'll have. That means we've got extra room in our boot and we're gonna get some coal. Do we want these or do we want the other ones? I don't mind, I have no preference. What? It's more burning. What happened? Uh, I think you left the door open, didn't you? No, I did not. You did. Hello, lovelies. Hello, I'm taking you out. We're back. We're taking you out. So we spent all day cuddling dogs and for a change we decided to go to a pet shop and buy them something. <laughs> Hopefully not buy us something. No. From the pet shop. <laughs> no. No. It's a dog um We're gonna go spoil them shop. at the pet shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Susie, hello. I'm Susie. I've got a new haircut. And I look really skinny <laughs> with it. Hello and I'm George and I've got a funky sweater on. I love my sweater, it's colourful. This little teddy bear, teddy bear love. So I'm just pumping you out, I'm just cuddling you and then stop. Oi. You want, you want more? Okay, so I'll just do a little bit more, a bit more here and then we're done. No more. <laughs> Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then we're gonna have a break. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to the shop and I get everyone chocolate! Doggy chocolate, human chocolate! George, you look like you're ready to go to the shop. Alright, got some soft, soft treats over here. Hi oh, George, what's happening? You know it. Oh my god, George! Oh my god, George, you're so cute. Oh, look at you, look at you, well behaved. Well, we're gonna need to get in the lock now, so you're gonna stay inside. <laughs> and we'll take you out after. Give them a treat. Hello there, folks. Uh, we are on our way to get some water, hopefully from the Swan Pub in Pangbourne. Beautiful pub, beautiful food, great doggo friendly. But yeah, we asked the chap last night when we went for dinner if uh, if we could use their water point. We know, know there's a water point there. We spoke to the manager just before Christmas. He said, oh yeah, just come and use it. It's absolutely fine. And we felt like we didn't want to put put him out. So we never did. So we asked again this time and uh, we definitely need water. If not, if he doesn't do water, we'll just fill the tank with Stella, shall we? The water point is just beyond the lock. So we're actually not going far at all. nice cruising feels like spring I've got to say I have missed it this winter I think if there's a happy medium in between the two so I don't know once every three or four weeks yeah. but yeah it's nice to be back out on the, on the river who's there who's there who's there 
George and Judy. Well, I'm about to do a U turn, and hopefully, I'll just U turn in. We'll be there in. This shines like. Just been to the Swan pub, got water, we've got a full tank, which is a great feeling. Haven't felt like this in a month. We are moored up just after the lock, so it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to get back. It's 100 kg. It's less awkward than the water. So I'm going for a run and I've run out of milk. I've got no soy milk, I've got no oat milk. So I'm going to run with a backpack, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. So on the way back, I'm going to go to a shop and get some stuff. I don't know how I forgot about it, but that's what it is. Also, it's been raining for quite a few days and the river is very fast. It's crazy, I haven't seen it being this far since the time it flooded and hopefully it's not going to flood again. The weather doesn't look that bad, so I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be okay. It's Sunday today, so my plan is to clean the boat. My driving test is in two weeks, so I'm going to be doing some theory, study some theory. I already passed theory, but there are some theory questions that they ask. And then, hopefully, when Miles comes back, we'll go for a drive with him, for a training drive in his car. So I've been practicing, I've got a weekly lessons with the instructor, and I've also been driving with Miles. So hopefully, I will be ready in two weeks to take the test. In other news, we are only two weeks away from the clocks changing forward to British summertime so it's gonna get light in the evening finally and it's going to feel properly like spring we already can see the difference the light makes there is a lot more solar in March and we can charge um, our battery banks during the day from the 12 volt it's all ramping up it's looking good two weeks to go I don't know where to start there's so much to do The majority of our furniture on board is white, which we love, and it makes our home look bright and spacious. But in winter months, because of the coal fire, it gets covered in thick dust. I almost finished, I just got the bins left to do and the bin lids because they're dirty. Um, empty recycling and I think that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our organic shop for tees and hoodies and consider joining us on Patreon for behind the scenes podcast, live meetups and other extra perks. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.